I was in a um, an underground bunker. Oh. With a bunch of men. I didn't realise till the morning they were men in Istanbul. It was completely dark and there was water on the floor. And I had, I'd lost my wallet. And the girl, who's now my best friend, maybe because of the experience. And we, we missed our train and I didn't have any money. And so we had I, like two American dollars. And we had to stay in this bunker. We got led down this, I thought I was going to be killed. And there were, there were I, it's a little bit like the the noises you guys are making. Mm. But the men were in these these bunks. It kind of reminds me of this. It was quite scary. I didn't, uh, we ended up leaving at about four in the morning because it's, it was, uh, the, I suppose it's the closest I've ever come to a Turkish prison. Well, I was in Turkey. Did, did you complain to the travel agent? But at least there's no water on the floor. To be honest, when we've had people on the polite mattress, uh, they haven't really drawn the comparison between this and a, a Turkish dormitory hellhole. They, well, they usually say it's, it's nice, like a caravan. It smells nicer. So, yeah. Are you right there, Patrick? Oh, yeah. Friend of mine I saw last night, about a month ago, he was in his flat uh, on his own, and he uh, woke up in the middle of the night and thought, I'm having a heart attack. Oh. And uh, he had this stabbing pain in his chest. Uh, he called the ambulance. Uh, while he was waiting there, he... He decided to you know, write down his last instructions, mm. you know, and always been really ahead of the trend. The newest music, uh, clothes, hairstyles, mm. and he was a cool guy. And so he was writing down, you know, a few I love you's on a piece of paper. I would like the Scott Walker song, Angels of Ash, mm. uh, played at... Um, his funeral and it's it's a big full blown melodramatic Scott Walker job. Scott Walker is a bit melodramatic. <laughs> yeah. So the ambulance came and took him off to hospital. They rushed him uh, into A and E, and it turned out he had a gallstone. Uh, That's painful. They gave him some pain relief and sent him home, and he walked into his kitchen and. There was his desperate, what he thought, last note. At the bottom of it said, and at my funeral, I'd like angels. <laughs> the most trendy man in Britain, having <laughs> angels by Robbie Williams played at his funeral. What's the difference between a gallstone and a kidney stone? I think kidney stones you can pee out. Yeah. Well, Although, oh my God, I had a friend who, who had to pee out a kidney stone. I did. Well, he had, did it on an aeroplane. He thought he was going to die. It was so painful. I don't know how he kept quiet in those loos. A stone coming out of your old yeah. fella. Well, yeah, be, yeah. Well, well, I, case, yes, I could only imagine. It was a relief when it came out. I know, but the process. I suppose it's the closest you get as a, as a man to giving birth. Yeah, indeed. I would imagine it's much worse giving birth, Kate. Well, at least it's positive. That's true. Oh, it was positive for me. Uh, I suppose so. The, um, the <laughs> I urologist. Don't, I don't want to have. I don't want to have this thought as I'm going to sleep. The urologist <laughs> wanted me to. You peeing out a stone out of your old fella. No, oh, I, what a nightmare! Yeah, but I. I it gets On better. so many levels. When I peed mine out, it was at the National Theatre. You you keep me going when I'm I was sort in, of begging. I I'm was begging in rehearsal. You to stop. And it and it went into the urinal. Mm -hmm. And the Did urologist. Did you fish it out? The urologist had said to me, you've got to take this little tea strainer net with you wherever you go, because if it comes out, I, I want that stone, because I want to analyse it. And so I had to I had to fish it out the urinal, because I didn't have my net. Uh -oh. Having not really spent a lot of time in male toilets and around mm -hmm. urinals, maybe in my teens. Oh, like, yeah. I won't go there. But is it complicated to fish anything out of a urinal? Yes. Because there's With all these strain. sort of blue 
disinfectant. Crystal Cause doesn't the disinfectant. water keep flowing constantly? No. No. Used to. Oh, that's why it stinks so did. much. See? But now, because of ecological regulations, I suppose, mm. water saving. It Was there doesn't. anyone else in the loo when you were fishing? No. Out? No, I wouldn't have fished it out had I been witnessed. So hang on, before that though, if you did have your sieve or your strainer with you, mm. you would urinate uh, through the sieve? No, no, it's a nice thought, <laughs> but no, the idea was that if you can feel it coming, oh yeah, get your sieve out, but it was very painful, the whole thing. Yeah. Wow, well, uh, what did it look like? Like... What, his old fella or the stone? <laughs> it was about you remember. three millimetres uh, and it was white. Well, my wife uh, doesn't know it, but uh, I made it into a lovely little earring for her. Oh, lovely. I'm always very interested in what people take to bed with them as their little comforts. Some people have a glass of water or mm. a biscuit or a piece of fruit. Oh, their, their phone? Well, yeah, I have my phone. I'm a phone sexual. Mm. You put your phone by your bed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, my I light, it's... my radio, my alarm clock. As you get older, do you think the accoutrements that you take to bed get, they grow in number? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. you think, oh, I might need this. Mm. Yeah, I need. I seem to need ten books by my bed. Do you have any uh, special things in your bedtime armoury that, that we don't have here? No, because I like to get up. I like to have little excuses to get up in the middle of the night. Oh. Yeah, no, I go. I always go walking. I really, like are you that. an insomniac? Uh, well, not would say I'm Pizza insomniac. insomniac. I'm just restless. Right. Mm. So I'm constantly getting up. Really? In the middle of the night? In the middle of the night. Oh. I love being up when no one else is awake. No one's going to talk to you. Maybe you shouldn't keep your phone by your bed. Oh, no, this is if I go downstairs and set up a computer and that. Oh, so you get up and try and do things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't try and do things. All right. No, I just I just wonder. Yeah, I think, Pete, you're trying to equate yourself with Kate's night wandering. It's, to respect, preposterous, because I think <laughs> she gets up and has a spiritual... Oh, soulful experience on her own. Oh, all right. You get up and tweet. I mean, yeah. it's, a very, <laughs> it's a very different all right, thing all right. that's going on. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that she, she didn't do anything except be spiritual. Being spiritual is doing something, isn't it? I don't know, being Irish. Pete and I are thinking of bringing back the sedan chair. Um, <laughs> we think we'd be good sedan oh. chair runners. And I think that, I mean, it's ecologically sound. It is. They would be we'd, quite be, we'd be like the mm. controllers, and we'd hire, look, quite frankly, unemployed actors uh, in costume. I thought we were going to get out on the road. I, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't know that this is going to go anywhere, guys. Really? The sedan chair. I just, you know. Come on, the past is where it's, it's at. It's a lovely image, but mm. I don't want to. Have you ever been in a sedan chair in a film? Entrance in a sedan chair. I don't think I have. No. I've never seen you in one, but no. you might have done some obscure oh, I've made a lot that... of films that haven't been, been seen. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, we're just, uh, I think Patrick's shyly saying we're looking for some kind of brand ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. It'd be very, very scary. Just waking up and finding yourself on this pull-out bed. How did I get here? Like memory loss. Mm. Have you ever had that? Apart from being inebriated. How did I get here? How yeah. did I get here? Where am I? Yeah. Who am I? <gasps> oh, if you take away, uh, you know, intoxication... Uh, then I'm afraid I don't have any examples. Of anything? Of, of <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I thought I woke up and thought I was blind because I'd been sick over my face. 
Yeah. Or something oh. when I was a kid. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. You're yeah. lucky to be alive. I know. You I could know. have choked on that. Yeah. And, well, I don't know whether I did it onto the pillow and then rubbed my face on it. But I don't. By, oh. by any. Oh, please. Um, sleep here. kidney stone and my, you'll vomit on your face. My eyes were glued uh, shut with. That's dust. enough. How old were you? I was probably about seven or eight. That, that would have been really terrifying. It was very freaky. Actually, vomiting as a child. Remember the first time my eldest vomited? The the look of panic oh. on his face. Oh. Poor thing. Could I just ask you to just speak a little quieter? Because I really would like to go to sleep now. Right. You, you two have been nattering away like a couple of... Mm. I haven't said anything. Yeah, whatevs, but can we just get in a, pack in a few Zs now? Because this is technically a sleepover, Kate. Okay, sorry. Uh, you always do that. You always have to be the director and close down well, the production, I'm not, no, don't you? I'm not trying yeah. to close it down. I'm just trying to do what we all agreed we'd do. No, no. We agreed it's a sleepover. It's yeah. not a party. It's not a slumber party. Well, that's why I came. Look, it's better to... Uh, to do the chatty now, sure, rather than Kate waking up and wandering around in the middle of the night. Yeah. There's nothing to what, do rather there. Rather than lie here thinking of all the stuff. So you've started up again now? I'm wide awake. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not. <sighs> it's really bad. It's one thing being wide awake and looking at the stars. It's another thing not having anything to look at. OK, have you never done the dormitory oh. thing where you have to submit your own personal... Wishes oh, I think I am capable of being quiet. Hmm? I am. Fa- I am capable of saying nothing. Right. If people stop asking you questions about, have you ever been quiet? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kate. Hmm. Were you good at sports? Um, I, was, I played lacrosse. Mm. Oh. Quite, quite like lacrosse. I can imagine. And you see, I'd, I'd have said you'd be a good cross-country runner. I did cross-country, mm. but I, I, fa- I found it really upsetting. Why? I always felt like you were, you were being chased by something through the woods, and mm. I found it, and so I, I put me off running. Yeah, you know all those f- films and books that have people being chased by things through forests? I'm about to serenade. I don't think you can be serenaded by a harmonica. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you have to? Is that a little lady? Mm-hmm. I have a harmonica that I wear around my neck, and it's a little. It's called a little lady. Do you play it? I occasionally play it. My daughter. I mean, do you want to form a band? Yeah, I haven't, I'm not wearing it. Mm. I don't go to bed with it. Because Pete plays the drums. That, I don't think you could be serenaded by the drums, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we could probably... It's not a romantic N- no. instrument. The it's two, not, two no. harmonicas and a drummer, we could probably fill a tent in Glastonbury. Certainly a closet. Yes. No. 